Episode 1, Season 6, Power. Man, it took us for a topsy-turvy ride. One of my predictions came true. Angela dying within the first two episodes. I predicted that correctly. I just didn't think that she would go out the way that she did. And we're going to recap the highs and the lows of Episode 1, Power, Season 6. But first... Y'all know we gotta put on the plus seven glasses. A rest in peace, Angela. I did like you. I don't care about people calling you a thought sexy as hell. Cause I'm working on skilling my power craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. The wife is here again by popular request. She's a nephrologist. Be sure to check her YouTube channel. Would you like some sexy as hell glasses? Sure. You want the high dollars or you want the dollar store version? Just give me some glasses. Here, just, just take these Sean John joints. Be sure to subscribe, leave me comments. If you're new to my channel, the best way to navigate this channel is YouTube homepage, go through my playlist. This will be under power. We just seen Power episode one of season six. And man, I am a little sad that Angela died that quick. How do you feel about it? I'm grieving a little bit. Right. Um, they killed her off very quickly. Very quickly. I, I mean, thought they would drag it out a little bit mm -hmm. where you kind of leave cliffhangers, not sure if she's alive or not. But right. they, they ended that question very quickly. So that, that was probably the biggest piece of things that happened in this episode. But there were a lot of things that happened. So first of all, how did y'all like Trey's songs during the, the intro with 50, the new remix versus the old one with Joe? I ain't like it that hot. It's got to grow on me. How did you like it? I was looking for the old one. Right, right. Maybe give it some time to grow on us. Mm -hmm. The episode starts out in the very beginning with Ghost and Angela going to the hospital. Then we move on to we've got a new head of the AUSA, this Martin guy. If you're not familiar with that character, he also played in Californication. He's a great actor. Pace yourself, young lady. Why? I'm fucked. My dad won't let me publish fucking punching. National climate and whatnot. Really? I don't really know what you're talking about, national climate and whatnot, but that's good news. He's very verse he can do comedy he can do drama he can also be a bitch ass villain too so i think he's gonna fit perfect in that role but the way he's behaving leads me to believe somebody up in this organization for the fbi somebody has got to be a plant for one of the old cartels do you think it could be him him or um What's her name? Maria? Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Yeah. Yeah. Who is now, if you didn't see, catch that, is working with those AUSA. She's on their team now. How do you feel about that? I mean, they have to weave her in some way. So okay. if she's not within their division at all or doesn't work with them, they have to weave her in some way to make her make her uh, part of the story. Okay. But that lets you know that she's going to have a big role, so, you know, sooner or later. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's going to do something with this uh, series or if she's going to be kind of kind of branched over into the next uh, next franchise or... Right. One theory that I had, if Angela died, would be that her sister Paz would get more involved in the storyline and would somehow another get up with Maria Suarez, the person that really heard Ghost's voice. You guys seen that they're really sprinkling the sister in from earlier on when she met with Ghost and they was at the hospital when Angela died to at the very end when Ghost met her at her house and she's just like, Ghost, get the hell on. From Cooper Sats asking her to sign to do an autopsy and at first she says no, but by the end of the, the end of the show, you see her signing it. One thing that they didn't really mention that I think you guys are know could probably exonerate Ghost if you're inside looking at the situation. When they do the autopsy, Ghost was standing directly in front of Angela. Mm -hmm. They're going to see that a bullet came from a downward trajectory from the ceiling and went through to the ground. And if there's any cameras in that school, anything that was working, and you saw Ghost standing there, there's no way Ghost could be in that, been able to have shot Angela. Right. 
What do you think they're gonna get back from the autopsy? What you just said, that ghost wasn't a part of it. I don't think there are any cameras. The school looked like it was an old, kind of rundown, abandoned school. So I don't think they'll have any videos or anything like that. But I mean, if you look at kind of where ghosts will stand, and I would think they would be able to look at the blood spatter patterns and all this other stuff to show that ghosts wasn't part of the, the shooting. If there's no other way to know that ghosts were standing in front of her, they're not gonna know where the hell ghosts were standing at. I mean, if they have his clothes, if they got his clothes and see where the blood pattern, you know, look at the blood pattern. And how it splattered back on ghosts. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that would that would vindicate ghosts too. And um, I'm sure that when that comes out, they will realize, hey man, there is no way it could have been ghosts. Then we move right along. The Serbians basically testing ghosts. Jason, excuse me, testing Tommy. They know Tommy is dumb. I mean, let's just be, they know Tommy is dumb. My man gave Tommy a hug, took his keys, sent his man out there in Tommy's car only for Ghost to shoot him up. How do you think that's gonna play out? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy looked like his little feelings was hurt. His feelings was I hurt. I felt a little sad for him that he just he just didn't couldn't believe that Ghost really tried to kill him the, the way that he did. Well, you gotta think, man. I told y'all. When it comes to men, there are three things how you can get us. Panty draws, money, and power. If you mess with any of that, you harm any of that, we will go off the deep end. And Tommy has hurt his brother to the core. He is going off the deep damn end. And he tried to end Tommy's life in that last little section and Jason knew it was going to happen. Yeah, I mean, he walked off thinking, so as far as Ghost is concerned, Tommy is dead. He doesn't know anything else right now. Right, exactly. Yeah. But I, it, it was just funny but sad because, you know, Tommy would just look so hurt. And then they started play, playing this sad music. With Miguel. <laughs> With Miguel. And they played of, this sad music yeah. and Tommy was looking just like, just speechless and it, it couldn't believe it. Right. <laughs> and Power does a good job with their soundtracks. If you guys haven't checked out any of the Power soundtracks, this is definitely the new, um, what was that? New, York New York Undercover for sure, because they keep it real with their soundtrack. Really, really good. Is Lakeisha over her head? Why did her ass throw that gun in the river with her fingerprints on it? She ain't had no gloves on. Nothing. No, you would think Nothing. she'd be a little smarter than that. I mean, she she oofed it in the water like the chick on the Titanic. Just oof. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, ain't put no mustard, no English on throwing. She just oofed it in the water like it was, you know, whatever. Now we got to talk about Tariq. Tasha has popped up and said, Tariq, don't you choose sides? It looks like he's going to choose Uncle Tommy because Uncle Tommy said the phone is always open to him. Where's Tariq going? I mean, he gave you a clue that he's going to be playing ghosts, you know, emotionally for mm -hmm. some reason. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be a gangster. Yeah. And he's going to fiddle his daddy. He said, let me see. He said, I, and I quote, I need to play nice for now. Right. And so what does that mean? He's obviously there's something he wants from his daddy. He wants his daddy. He wants to get something out of his daddy before this is all said and done. But the mm -hmm. key is, what is it that he wants from his daddy? Yeah. I mean, his daddy is a broken man right now. Yeah. So is he playing nice because he knows that you know he doesn't want to kick his father while he's down, or is he playing nice because he's setting him up to stab him in the back? Oh, definitely set him up. It ain't just because it's definitely set him up for something. We just don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Whether he wants access to something. Where we don't know what it is, you know, set him up for something. Um, Ghost's lawyer, how you feeling about his role in this whole thing so far on episode one? I mean, he, he's holding true to being loyal to Ghost. Um, it doesn't look like Ghost is upset with him. Um, I guess initially we thought that he was kind of inadvertent, indirectly selling Ghost out by um, uh, telling on Angela, right? But I mean, he he's came not. he came yeah. clean, told Ghost the truth about there is another chick out there. You know, he did think it was Angela in the beginning and he was very sorry and sad. Yeah, but Proctor but is being Proctor. Proctor is being Proctor. Proctor. Yeah. But that new head of AUSA, the Warren Cat, he's gonna be a problem. He shows up at Proctor's daughter's recital. Mm -hmm. No rhyme, no reason other than for him to just ask questions, who shot Angela? That shows me this guy's gonna have an active role. He's gonna be a problem in this series. Last but not least, 
Tasha. Tasha said one thing in this episode that lets me know that my theory about her killing ghosts may come true. She was sitting there eating with her mama and she said, I'm going to handle ghosts. Mm -hmm. Do you think she's going to be the one to pull the trigger on ghosts? I still don't think she would kill ghosts. No. Ghosts going to die. Unless she's actively defending Tariq or she's actively defending herself. I don't see her just popping ghosts. This is going to be the season ghosts is going to finally make a mistake. Now, if you if we're judging this by a boxing score, and this is round number one between Tommy and Ghost, who would you say won this round in episode number one of season six? I would say definitely Ghost won this round. Why? Um, one, because Tommy was slipping again. So, I mean, Tommy didn't realize that Ghost was as heated with him as he was. He could have easily gotten that car and drove off and got shot up. Okay. So I think but, definitely Ghost won. Tommy, Tommy is underestimating Ghost's wrath. I mean, but that's just Tommy. Tommy don't know how to make a plan anyway. That's just Tommy. Mm -hmm. If I had to pick the person that won this round, I'm going to say Tommy won the round. During this episode? This episode, because who does Ghost have in his corner right now? Nobody. Mm -hmm. Tommy's at least got Lakeisha. He's cool with Tariq. He's cool with Tasha. Tommy has less enemies than what Ghost has right now. Neither one of them died, so in terms of that, it's a stalemate. But who has the most enemies after episode one? It is definitely goes. So I'm going to say round number one, even though Tommy got beat the hell up, it goes to Tommy. He's got more people he can go confide into, share ideas with, than what goes. Right now, it is ghosts against the world. So for me, yeah. this round goes to Tommy. But y'all, yep, y'all leave us your comments. We was blown away. We're excited. I mean, there's just a whole lot of stuff. If I had to sum up the, the nature of episode one, I would say it was a somber, yet, yet very, very vengeful episode. That's how I would sum up this whole episode. It's gonna be a good season. And what do you have to say in closing? I'm gonna miss you, Angela. <laughs> I miss you, Angela, too. She, I mean, you know, you didn't like what she was doing, True. but she was still a, a very a central central part of, of, the, uh, the, of the series. Yeah, she, she was part of the glue. I'm not going to call her a thought like some of y'all been doing in them comment sections. Angela was my friend. I like Angela. And she's actually born in real life on the same day I am born. So I had love for Angela, the character. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's going to do it for this video before I get in trouble. Don't forget to like this video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game. If you stay through this whole 12 minutes, you're obviously a big subscriber and big fan of this channel. Please consider donating to my Patreon. A dollar, 50 cent, whatever you want to do can help me continue to make this content. And until the next Sex is Hell video, we'll see you.